Just introduce yourself and how you're related to the uh, to the master of ceremonies. Yes. And how do you know this? Is my father. Yes. So that's, that's the connection. Very proud of my daughter, Lisa. Yeah. Right. And what's your fondest me what's your fondest memory of of your uh, your wonderful dad here? Yeah. That one. Not you. <laughs> I'm trying to get her. It's a combination of his personality. He has a great personality. It's very friendly. And it's a little, a little bit like corny. A little. It's a great combination. <laughs> Friendly and corny. Friendly and corny. Yeah, it's a little eccentric. Well, didn't this man at one point ruin your car? Oh, that was classic. Yeah. I tried to jack up. We're driving to Ocean City, and all of a sudden I see the wheel going past us. I gotta stabilize the camera. The wheel is going past the car. Yeah. And we're like, who who could possibly have lost their wheel? Who could that get Laughing. The and then it goes clunk. Oh, goodness. I guess that's and us. And then we went around looking for the lug nuts. And then I had a spare. But you weren't responsible necessarily right. for that. So we yeah. decided we were going to jack up the car. But there's a special spot where you have to jack it up. Like oh, here we go. I didn't know that. I just wanted to Right. Know. And then the whole fiberglass It just tears the a slit right through right her right fiberglass. And how did you feel about him destroying your car at that point? I no. mean, I was like a... I don't know. I wasn't happy, but then I was also thinking, why did this happen? Yeah, like, and, and what happened to my car? Like, why did a wheel just randomly you, you told us why. You said yesterday I had the car in right. to take the like wheel like, off or something. Like, like, it was like some sort of wheel rotation right. or something. So it was definitely the auto body mechanic. It was the mechanic's you fault. You went back and got a new bumper and a new And I did, and I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was young and stupid. Well, that's quite a memory. That made a memory. Though. That did make a memory. I even know that memory. <laughs> you were driving. And there you go. That's, that explains why I know that memory. Yeah, like, why did that, why did that wheel... Well, I remember, us? like, what idiot is driving his car with three wheels, and look at the wheel going right by us. <laughs> All right. That was a classic. And this lovely young lady over here, who I happen to be related to. daughter-in-law. No, you're not. I did not. I have known Reg for many, many years. I know him as a very godly man. Very good. Loves the Lord. And we've had many, many good times together for so many years. There was four of us, four couples, that we would all get together for a Sue, Dave, right? Yeah. John and Nancy. Oh, yeah, John and Nancy. John, John yeah, Nancy. you and Thoris and Tom and I, we'd get together for your, like, I'd say like two or three years in a row. We would just get together for birthdays and for everything. Yeah, well, some fun times. We had some really good fun times. And so. you were like the coordinator, right, of the 60th. And I, kind of, kind of put together the 60th win. Lisa With Frank, Lisa and Frank. Since that was their house. Right. But yeah, that yeah. was uh, that worked out really well. I think it was really a surprise. And here we are again. Here, here we, are, we again. are again. So and good to be day. all the way in Texas. Yeah. Ocho on the 80th. What is it, Ocho I Man? Ocho is 88. Eight. Eight. I don't know what zero is, but I know zero. <laughs> So we're all singing Ocho, Ocho Man. man. I want to be, be an Ocho, Ocho Man. Yeah, there you are. Uh -huh. And you yeah, are. Man. And look how great you look. Yeah, you look wonderful. You don't, wonderful. You don't look any different from the 60s. Thank you. Thank you. No. It's pretty much Maybe the same. Maybe a little prayer, but, uh, you know, that's all. that's all right. To be expected. Love it. And I'm um, so grateful to be part of this family. Amen. Do you want to call me back? And there's, and there, and there. Oh, I don't know if Doris is ready for the interview. She's busy. She is busy. Kimmy. Oh, Kimmy's right here. We're interviewing for his 80th birthday. Come on over, Kim. Reg and you're the on. meanest the father I've oh. ever had. You're on. What's the fondest memory you might have of? Uh, so many, right? Yeah, the, so um, many. the inverted hiccup. Oh, the inverted and that's hiccup. That's what we're, we're calling it. The, yeah, that. I tried to drive when you were like... Oh, no, and then, and then we would go to the babysitter, and he would drive a stick shift Honda hatchback with a bowl of mini-weeks, and I'm sitting over here driving, 
And he's all shifting and driving and eating at the same uh, time. With his, yeah, there you go. My life was in God's hands. Your best memory. My life was in God's hands every day. Right. You were like, school. he taught you how to pray, is what you're he saying. Is. That he did. <laughs> oh, here comes the doggies. Yay. Oh, Kelly, Kelly's going to scream in a minute. Get ready for that. But you're also responsible for this party here, partially. Right? You put, kind of pulled it off, planned it. Come here. Come here. Done a great job. You had it catered. Texas barbecue. You want to who let the dogs out? Do, All right, do, now do, we, do, we have Layla. Layla! We, have, we are interviewing for Layla. This is Sadie's birthday party. So okay. Hello. Hello. What are we interviewing? Yeah, fondest well, memory. Fondest memory. Um, Put you on the spot. I think one of my most old vivid memories was when you were living at the house in Marmora and you got this bike and it was like... It like looks like a Harley Davidson sort of thing, uh, and it was like had like the giant like super like mile long handlebars. And you like basically like, down the street. I just remember Papa going down the street in Harmora. That, that is so funny. Uh, have you seen his latest though? Have you seen his latest contraption? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've seen that yet? Yeah, I've seen him run around the neighborhood a couple times. Oh, uh, there you go. The <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up, because I gotta ask Frank and, and Lisa, where is that bike? I gave it to Nikki. It was a classic, and it was before rubber big fat. It does bring back memories. Yeah, it had fat wheels on it. Well, I probably used it about three times before I took it over there and gave it to him. It's still in the garage. Yeah, we're going to pass it down to somebody. Don't pass, don't, don't pass it on, man. Yes. That's going to be another family heirloom, I imagine. We're going to pass it on to Nikki. Nikki's grandkids. Nikki's grandkids. <laughs> Child. Can't, wait, can't wait till I see that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. No, it's a cool bike. It really is. Yeah. You drove it? Yeah, a couple times. Wait a second. I was hoping to inherit that bike. In fact, we might have even videoed us doing a wheelie or whatever. So, I think that was the thing. I think we were all hanging out in the front yard. Probably had the camera out. Yeah, I remember Kelly wrote it. Did you ride it? I don't know. I know. I was, I was little. I never had that. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that. Right? Hang on. Make sure Nikki visit the Is Right. Because you've never seen another bike like that. I've never seen it. It's a one of a kind. It was very unique. It was a very unique. I never saw it. And where is it? Now they're making, they're getting real popular. Big fat tires on the bikes. Yeah. But this was way. Way before. Well, how about that? That brought that all up. Yeah. Well, I see a theme here. Well, this lovely young lady here has the best stories out of it. First is the year we met at the oh, yeah, the meeting Johnson's story. Ice Cream Pop. <laughs> No, I mean, and uh, we were being, everybody was introducing everybody, and I was introduced to him. And just at that moment, God said, There she is. There's the woman you're going to marry. And he had the dumbest face. Wow. He was going, shaking my hand. Going, oh, I want this guy. Uh, no, but wasn't there something about his shoes? Yeah. Wasn't there something about his shoes? She shook his hands and I looked She's at his a, shoes and she was like, I'll pass the face, right, but right, I need right. a shoe. You're a sucker for some nice shoes. With the little Italian shoes. Right. Little Italian shoes. Little Italian shoes. So, ha so had you known his real shoe collection, yes. had, you know, had you know what kind of shoes he would be wearing in the future? Oh, those are nice shoes. I understand. And then on our first date, we went to Cape May and we oh, walked oh, yeah. on the, you know, the concrete boardwalk there and we sat wow. in a fellow. He had a bench and he put his arm on the back of the bench Bella, and his hand came Bella. down and touched me. Who do you think I am? Wow. Got your hand off me. You didn't. <laughs> Oh, yes, I did. I like that. Oh, I did. Get your hand off me. Get your hand off me, but I'll marry you in six months if you keep wearing them shoes. Three months, my bad. So, uh... Needless to say, he made a lot of progress after that in three months' time, yeah. 
So tell us about why you treated this girl with such disrespect on your first date. You our first date down to Kate May. Oh yeah, I think I put my arm around her and she freaked out. She freaked out. They touched me. Do you realize if it wasn't for your shoes, you might not be together? Yeah, I know those Italian shoes. I thank Guido's. Guido. Guido Sacamani. Yeah, Guido Sacamachi. Oh, we got Kelly. Oh, we got Kelly. Oh, Kelly. All right, Kelly. This is the 80th birthday. We might have to hold you, get her a little closer. Hi, Hi look at this. Hi. Woo. That's so we're. A memory or some memory? Of... Well, she has a lot of memories. Oh, wow. So there's the Great Poupon. Oh, there's... let's hear that one. <laughs> what happened with the Great Poupon? Well, I don't know. There's just issues with Great Poupon or something. She got really mad about it. Or... Well, and how old were you when he did this? It was, oh, the teen years. Oh, the teen years. Oh, the teen years. <laughs> well, I must say, he loves his mustard, his cheese, and his pretzels. Yes. So don't mess with his great poupon. <laughs> One that he's, uh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's hear, let's hear, let's, like let's hear a little bit of bless the Lord. <laughs> yeah, right. We did bless that. the Lord. Come on, a little bit of it. At the 60th, we did that. Bless the Lord. Well, you got to do it at the, at the 80s. You just said, you just said, you know. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. It is within me. Bless the Lord. Come on and bless, bless the Lord. <laughs> My soul and all that is within me. Bless his heart. Now you're going to interview Thank you. Well, guess what? Right. You're going to tell them the story about when your school wanted you to do show and tell. Oh, my. Man. So, you know, Thrifty Nickel over here, he saves everything. And he used to shave his face every day. And for some god awful reason, he saved his whiskers oh! after he shaved. And he put them in a brown paper bag that you take, you know, your lunch to school in. So I was in like with an electric razor. So it was in like second grade, and it was show and tell, and the letter was W. Oh, no. <laughs> so here goes little Kimmy, seven, eight years old, second grade. Show and tell, my daddy's whiskers. Uh, that's <laughs> and they let me go ahead and show his whiskers. Uh, did they a ask, bag of whiskers. Did they ask the question, why is he saving his whiskers? I don't know, whiskers? probably not. They were probably yeah. like, oh, good job. Good Can job, get it. It's a picture I steal, that's, weirdo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably what happened. Moving right along. Oh, Frank! Frank, and, Frank's and got Frank, stories. Where, where do you come in the picture here? When I was yes. I how are you connected? Right no, here. not how are you connected in this whole <laughs> this whole family oh. link? Bridges' daughter, Lisa. That's her. <laughs> Is my wife. That's you. There you go. Okay, so so that would make you a son-in-law. Exactly. Yes. All right. All right, here we go. Reggie is from Pittsburgh. In case yes, yes, he is. Anybody who doesn't know. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are a favorite football team of his. And one of mine. Yes. My favorite team, unfortunately for you guys, is the Philadelphia Eagles. Boo. But my second favorite team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. There was a year where the playoffs came around, and the Eagles and the Steelers were both going very well in the playoffs. One was in the NFC Championship game, the Eagles. The other was in the AFC Championship game, the Steelers. The Eagles came on first that Sunday, and then the Steelers came on after. I invited all of Lisa's family to come to the, the playoff game with the Steelers. But I sat by myself, watching my Eagles, uh, the first game. At that point, the Eagles had not won a championship. The Steelers, I think, were up to about five already. And it was like, you know, ho-hum, we won another, who cares? The Eagles were Jones in the win one and could never do it. They cut close, but they wouldn't win. So I'm sitting there, I'm watching my Eagles play by myself. Tight game, tough game. I'm saying, we're going to make it, we're going to play in the Super Bowl, we're going to do this. And then, last few minutes of the game, they lose. So the first arrival for the next game is Reg. He walks in the door. I'm sitting in my chair, all dejected. He's like, hey, what's going on? I said, hey, Reggie, the game just ended. The Eagles lost. He turns to me and 
words of wisdom that just inspired me and made me feel so much better. He said, well, it's not like you're not used to it already. Oh, wow. Thanks for having me over. Well, that wasn't very nice. Uh, I was kind of blunt. <laughs> Well, I, was, I, I remember that. Like, I was so, I felt so much better. <laughs> the one year that the Steelers won, we were all there. That, yeah. We all remember. And, yeah. oh, that was I think fun. At the end of the game, uh, you guys were all out there. We were doing the polka. The yeah. Front, yeah. Right front front what year was that? Una Paloma Bianca. Right, Una Paloma Bianca. Yeah. I bet. Oh, I, think the the I think that's the last time I watched the Steelers. I love the Bucs. I wouldn't take my Christmas tree down because I thought it was bad luck. We and I, I decorated it in black and gold. Decorated all Steelers stuff. That was fun. That was fun. That was a fun. That was fun. And, yeah. and the Steelers are playing tonight in honor of his birthday. Are they? Yes. Oh, you don't know how hard that was to arrange that, but I, I did that. <laughs> Well, and they're playing. They're they're, they're playing you, on you, you know, so it. Ben personally, yeah. Well, I, I know a couple people. A couple people pulled some. Strings. And you, what is your fondest memory? Uh, <laughs> have you has, he, have you been fed by his nickname is Sir Farts a lot. Sir Farts a lot. <laughs> so he has some stories. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Right. I think I, I think we got everybody at this table. John, come on, John. Uh, John, John, John. We're doing video tribute to Reg. Thank you, John. So you're gonna oh, say John. Who you are to him and fondest memory or a memory or something. You guys can't put me on the spot. Oh, I know. Well, let, let me ask. Let me ask some questions. Bobby's like your, son, your father in law. Right, father in law. Okay. Yes. And the first time you met him, what was your impression? The first time. Do you remember the first time? <laughs> Yes. You're like, first what time I met him, Kim was pregnant with JJ. Okay. And he did that noise that he always did. <laughs> and I laughed. And the laugh. I had to go outside and laugh. Yeah. yeah that's funny. <laughs> yeah. And we were thinking, this is a this is a nice guy that I could be. Uh, we came home could for be... Christmas. Yes. yes. Yeah. And that's the first time you get met. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first time you met. That was the first time. Wow. Sean did call home from Germany, not knowing anybody. Never met Mom or Reg, yeah. and asked. Reg and mom for my hand in marriage. Well, that was oh, remarkable. Very, very, very nice. nice. And then we proper show up thing. Proper thing to do. <laughs> and how'd that conversation go? Do you remember that conversation at all? That actually went really well. Yeah. She cried. Aww. Yeah. Oh, that's unusual. Aww. Yes. <laughs> I've never you seen Phyllis become look, emotional like this. that. Mom's crying. Ah, <laughs> well, that's a wonderful thing. Well, you are. You are a yeah, wonderful, fine, gentlemen, and wonderful son of so mine. We know school. from what they've always said about that, that we said yes. We always got great meetings before we met. Oh, okay. You're, yeah. And I said, I'm like God already told you. Like oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I really did. I well, you, did. yeah. Well, you're an answer to prayer. You know that? What? You were an answer to prayer. Yes. Yeah, you were. And that's why I, I said yes to the night, because God had already told me. Oh, no. You're a fine young man. I was nervous as heck, too. And, oh, yeah. and they love, I know they love having you as a son in law. I know that. That's why that's my goal. You can do nothing wrong. He can do nothing wrong. You hear that? You can do nothing wrong. Here's how good John is. Nothing. Here's how good John is. He came over last week. This is the second time now. He cuts our grass for us Aww. and trims the edges and does the whole thing. What a good guy. What a good guy. You want to say something? Okay. Yeah. And he does meat and barbecue. Yes, he does. Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What would you like to say? It's, uh, <laughs> so you would like to comment about? Or you're the one that kind of farts a lot. Wow. What'd you say? What was that? Yeah, he farts all the time. So long. Right here, he says. He says, yeah, "Come on. How about a little food. something on the 80th? How about a little something for the for me on your 80th?" Oh, you missed it. it just oh my! He can. He sees the weak link. Look at that. Aw. I mean, there's a blunt on here. She's ready to go.